I got to cut my first piece of Maine tourmaline while I was in Maine. And this is all thanks to the Maine Mineral and Gem Museum in Bethel. So I'm inside the museum. You can see all of the display cases in the background. And we're cutting a gemstone live while the public gets to come and see. So you can start to see that I have decided to make a seven-sided design. This is one of the designs that I've created and I thought would be a great addition to the museum collection, something that they haven't seen before. So I've put in my seven sides and I've cut in all my facets, three different tiers of triangles along with a table, creating a very nice geometric pattern. And as the audience watches, I start to polish the stone, taking it from frosty to shiny. And here you can see the entire crown has been polished. All the meat points good and a really nice balanced table in the middle of this wonderfully green heavy quarry tourmaline. So now that the polish is finished, it's time to flip it upside down. And here you can see the bottom side of my preform all covered in wax. So we're going to just grind that off as we make our initial shape. So this was kind of a deep piece of tourmaline. So my initial cut looks extremely tall and extremely pointy. But as I go through and make my next tiers, this is going to become a more manageable depth. So we've got this nice seven sided point and I'm going to go through and split each one of those triangles in half with another angle of triangles and here you can see those initial seven are split by another seven and the final step is to split them again so I'm going to create a three-tiered seven-sided star pattern and then the only thing left to do is go through and polish everything that I've already cut so I switch laps and go into my polishing lap and here I've cut the first two tiers of triangles and I only have the third tier left so you can see that frosty seven-sided star in the middle. So now to go on and keep polishing, I just need to polish that inner star and there it is. Everything shiny, everything reflective, the stone's going to be able to send out its reflective green light. So let's see how I did. So you can see that in order to make the stone clean, to take out all of those inclusions, it had to get smaller. Smaller from all four sides and eventually into a seven-sided creation that you can see before you. I hope you enjoyed this quick journey that we did in Bethel, Maine as we cut a piece of Maine tourmaline. This has been Justin K. Prim as I travel across America discovering the untold history of the American gem cutting story. So I hope to see you in person soon.